Just wanted to spend one second talking about a couple of the series that are on the market, give you my hot take on it. First of all, this one here, this is the heaviest box of cereal I've ever felt in my life. Don't ever put these in milk. I, I, I wish you could go to the supermarket, you don't have to buy them if you don't want to. Take it off the shelf. Just see if you have the, the, the strength to lift it. Look at this. This one rocked me to my core because I don't like to mix a chocolate cereal with a fruity cereal because they fight over the milk and they clash. So when I saw Captain Crunch come out with chocolatey berry crunch, what? What is this, this sweet madness? Don't ever underestimate the people of Captain Crunch. Then I discovered this one. And there's little powdered mini donuts, the donuts. I was kind of looking forward to these with great anticipation. No, sir. No, ma'am. Boring. And then I saw this craziness. I guess they weren't satisfied with the business that they were doing, selling their actual Pop-Tarts. So here's the first thing I don't like. They don't look like Pop-Tarts. Don't call something a Pop-Tart when it's a mini wheat and expect me not to notice. I mean, look at that. We all know what a Pop-Tart looks like. The taste is pleasant. It's pretty good, but it doesn't taste like a Pop-Tart. Classic example of trying to expand your brand just by using the name. I can't reward that kind of deception. Now, you can't really mix anything with Raisin Bran. And I guess the folks at Raisin Bran put in some crunchy oat clusters that were glazed with a touch of honey. This is one I think the kids would say, meh. And finally, I hadn't eaten these in probably 20 years. I rediscovered them. They're delicious. Light as air, sweet as a first kiss. A quick word about generics. This is the original Rice Krispie, and here you can see the generic crisp rice. But I think if you taste them, no, you know what? You need their actual Rice Krispies. You cannot make good Rice Krispie treats with the generic. This, of course, we all know is Fruity Pebbles, one of my all-time favorite cereals. And Fruity Dino Bites, which I just think is hysterical. Here's the actual Fruity Pebbles. Here's the Fruity Dino Bites. The color mixture is the same. Well, let's see. I mean, there's only one way to tell for sure in there. Mmm. Unmistakable. High quality product. Delicious. And now let's see what we got here. Edible, but off. But, if you're being cost conscious, and if you've not yet introduced your children to the real stuff, you could probably get away with that for a while. They won't know any better. But I mean, you know, if you love them, right here. If you're interested in seeing more of my mixes, gotta follow us on YouTube. We got a lot of good stuff on there. And if you haven't seen my Ed vs. Cereal Masterclass, check it out because it's just chock full of cereal brilliance.